Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today is all about a breakfast bologna club. You guys have to stay tuned to see what we create. This is going to be epic. So here's the idea. Uh, kind of like one of those cravings. Like this is all about craving. We're in the uh, grocery store the other day and uh, Fit Cut Bologna was on sale. I haven't had bologna in forever. Um, the last time we did a bologna sandwich, we scarred it, smoked it, or scored it, not scarred it, scored it, uh, massaged it with mustard, seasoned it, smoked it, cut it thick, and made like a bologna club. It is like big in the back of my mind, right? So it's just one of those things. Breakfast club. Bologna breakfast sandwich. Like, how do you incorporate bologna, ham, bacon, and egg, and all the things you like about a club sandwich? I don't know. But we're doing it today. That's for sure. Some bacon a friend made me. Homemade bacon. Can't go wrong with that. We'll have some eggs. Obviously, the lettuce, tomato, some mayonnaise, some thick cut bologna, and, of course, some white bread. Very easy, very basic, but I... Oh, the ham. We forgot the ham. You oh, forgot the ham. No, it's I your thought fault. you were using the bacon in place of the ham because it's no. breakfast club. You can't have ham for It's our fault. Hang on. All right. Crisis avoided. We got our smoked country style ham. Um, kind of like a honey ham style. And then we forgot the cheese too because my wife was in charge of getting the ingredients out. We got pepper jack and American cheese. You ready? Yes. Bacon on the griddle. Today we're using the Pit Boss Ultimate Griddle. Haven't used it in a long time. I know I get asked about it regularly. Honestly, it's about rotation and comfort and moving stuff around. I get lazy and sometimes I want to do it and sometimes I don't. And that's just the truth. Cook the bacon until it's done. We've cooked bacon a thousand times. I'm sure you don't need to see it. Whew, this is very fast cook. Golly, it is cold. It's I don't cold. have no clothes on. It's cold. <laughs> I'm shivering. It's supposed to be nine degrees next week. And I got to work outside in. I know some of you guys are like, ooh, trust me. I don't care who you are. In the south, nine degrees is cold because of humidity. Period. <laughs> Isn't that the day that you're supposed to work with me? No. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> we could put, since the butter is rock hard, I'm just going to melt the butter on the griddle a little bit later and uh, use that to toast both sides of that. We got our thick cut bologna. I'm really not a brand specific type of guy. Whatever's Get that on going. sale. Yeah. You didn't mention your spatula today. Well, I've had it for a while. I just broke down and started using it. We'll see. Testing it out. Just testing it out. All right. Here we go. One of the... You know how people cut their bologna in a thousand different ways because it pops up? I don't know if this is a hack or a tip. Just use your meat smasher, your mallet, whatever. Just like that. Okay? That's going to get that nice dark color that I like. My, I love fried bologna. You know, actually, matter of fact, what I like about fried bologna? Fried bologna, mayonnaise, and bread only. No cheese, no mustard, no nothing. That's what I like. But today, we're opening up a notch. Just because I feel like it. All right, bacon's going. Going. Tons of butter for each piece. Don't be skimp. E. Stingy. Yeah, I was going to say skimpy and stingy at the same time. So that's what came out. So pretty basic, right? I mean, we're not we're not building a rocket ship today. It's all about flavor. Oh, dang, lettuce is blowing off the cutting board too. Some good salt and pepper on your tomato. You know, I talked about griddle cooking in the winter in one of our videos. We actually did a video about it. Can I griddle in the winter? We're not there yet, but this is one of the things I said to be careful with, especially if you're new to griddling and being outside and all that other junk. When you touch stuff and your hands get cold, you'll be amazed how much sensation you actually lose and how it catches up on you really quick. Definitely drops the heat out of your body, so just something you guys can check out. All right, I'm just kind of gauging a little bit, finding my stride here so basic basically like three pieces of ham we're just going to warm that up too nice pretty buttery golden brown that's what i'm looking for all 
All right, bacon's almost done. Now remember, this isn't that crispy bacon that you like because it's homemade bacon. It's a lot different than store-bought bacon. Mm -hmm. This is more like, um, like, a, like a ham version. Yeah, well, yeah, this is different. See when this gets a nice color on that bologna? Oh yeah. Whoops, some of that bacon grease just dripped all over that bread. I can't believe that just happened. <laughs> oh gosh, that's horrible. Obviously, the cheese of choice is all up to you. That's just what we had. Kind of like my favorite, so it's not a big deal. Ooh, we're gonna have to make this fast. It is cold. It is cold. All right, one way to notice if your griddle's too hot, obviously if your butter starts burning right away, we're probably a hair hot, but I think we'll be okay. Just a little bit of salt, just a little bit of pepper. And we're gonna have to kick this bad boy in overdrive. So hot out here, I'm sweating. All right, let's build it. We've got our frozen bread. <laughs> Obviously you guys know there's only one mayonnaise in the world. Ooh, I'm getting excited. Ooh, I'm getting excited. Wish that cheese was a little bit more centered. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. Mm. Oh. I think you broke your egg a little bit, taking it off the grill. Never. Because we both like a lot of tomato. Oh. Snack. <laughs> how are we going to eat this? I don't know how I'm going to eat it. There you go. <laughs> Ooh, hoo, hoo. I'm going to tell you what. Every time I order a breakfast sandwich from now on at a restaurant, I'm gonna say, how big are your skewers? If they're not big skewers, it's not a breakfast sandwich. This ain't no like tiny little toothpick. This ha, is what we call a big joker. God, that looks good. All right. So the skewers help to keep it intact. <sighs> yeah, and then you stack it on top just like this. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's a little extra in no, honey. <laughs> Let's see what happens. It's a club, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Booyah. Oh. <laughs> honey. There we go. You're enjoying yourself way too much. God, does that look good? Let me see what it looks like. All right, enough playing. <laughs> it froze. Golly. Let's see that bite, honey. But can we film you taking your bite? <laughs> they always want to see it. Oh, we got to. Here, here. In your clothes that you got on. No, no, don't take it off. Don't take it off. You got to bite it in that. You guys always this. ask for it. We might cut this out. No, we won't. Nope. This is here it really is. really behind the scenes. This is it. This is what she looks like. You guys thought I was lying. I told you it's cold. All right, here we go. Incredible editing starts now. Or filming. Oh, jeez. Honey, that's ridiculous. You're used to... T <laughs> <laughs> used to what? All right, let me get the perfect angle. You ready? All in your nostril like you do me. <laughs> you better not either. All right. I don't even know what side. Don't bite your finger. 
Mm. You got the awkward pause so you can chew. So they're like, oh, you talk with your mouth full. <laughs> All right, let me take a it's bite. It's freaking good. Was it worth the hassle? It's freaking good. I had to unstrap my hood just to open my mouth enough. <laughs> Honey, they know your mouth is big enough. <laughs> that thing's on like a ratchet strap system. All right. You leave me God, it's good too. It's good. Does it remind you of breakfast? No. It just reminds me of a freaking amazing sandwich. Mm. You might not mm. want to eat it in a crowd. <laughs> mm. It might be a little messy. Mm. I'll tell you what. Just something as simple. Because, I mean, it really is simple. Mm. God, it's so good. There's not a person out there thinking, is he going to dip it or not? You think I am. Ooh. All right, guys, there you go. My version of a breakfast bologna club sandwich. Any diner out in America should be making this right here. You agree? It's good. Legit. It's good. All right, guys, we have a membership button down below. It's a join program. It's the way you guys can help out the channel. Just check it out if you guys are interested. Uh, check us out on the Griddle Group on Facebook. It's where we get uh, inspiration from you guys, where you guys tell us stuff about this. And then all of a sudden we start making it, right? That's what it's all about. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Pound the notification button. Share it with your friends. Let's go inside and eat. It's eat time. Mmm.